this upcoming 12-12-12, which is December 12, 2012, is a very important <coughs> time period. It is going to give you <coughs> an experience of an altered state of consciousness, particularly this 12-12-12. It happens on a new moon day, just prior to December uh, the 21st. Look at the December 21st and if you reverse the December 21st, it becomes 12. Always the number 12 is very powerful, whether it is 21 or 12 and it is very interesting that it happens or falls on the new moon time. The moon and the mind are interrelated. If you look at the, the ancient philosophies uh, across the world, we are all uh, trace the mind principle to the moon. In other words, the moon uh, influences the mind. The word lunacy uh, is self-explanatory. And also people are troubled uh, during the, the full moon days. The new moon is the opposite of the full moon as far as uh, the mind activities are concerned. During the new moon, the mind has uh, a potential uh, possibility to annihilate itself, meaning that you can experience a non-mind consciousness, particularly during the new moon of the Shivaratri night. Well, uh, Shivaratri is the night of the Shiva happens on the new moon. During that time, you can transcend uh, your mind. And this happens uh, regularly during every uh, new moon. But then the night of the Shiva is a special new moon, so we observe vigil expecting the transcendence uh, at some point while you are meditating. Now we have another opportunity, a great, great opportunity that happens on 12-12-12, which is a very, very important time. 12 itself is the ultimate as far as uh, experience of consciousness is concerned, there are 12 chakras and the 12th chakra is the God chakra, right above the 11th chakra, above the skull. So you can <coughs> transcend your mind during the time, get into a different type of consciousness. Let me put it very simply. You wake up in the morning and then you, you, the same problems haunt you, and no matter what you do, the problems are there. All through the day and the following day, <laughs> the same thing happens. You are not uh, able to control your mind, your emotions, your disappointments and your fear, your anxiety. All these things are everyday experience. All of them trace back to one uh, experience of our consciousness, and that is the mind. The mind processes everything. To be pre uh, precise, the thalamus, which is uh, on the top of the brain, uh, midbrain, part of the limbic system, is the one on which you have to meditate on the new moon day. So, it will be very, very powerful if you meditate on the new moon day, on the thalamus, you can go and look at uh, the thalamus in a, any uh, for a picture of the brain. It's right on top of 
Pemain Brand.